Hello YouTube, D. Baudry here. Welcome to EV Components Review. I gotta tell ya, um, I am smiling. <laughs> In fact, I'm laughing, I'm kind of snickering, etc, etc. And the reason why is because I have known about Kaomoto hardware failures since, well, I predicted it. And that was all the more I needed because I knew what terrible hardware design was versus good. And so, you know, I knew that Kaomoto products were blowing up and they were just having people send them back, keeping everybody quiet, uh, not letting that stuff become public knowledge, blah, blah, blah. And as a result, getting actual blown up controllers has been difficult because KO does not want the world to see what really goes wrong with their controllers. You know, it's one thing for me to tell you about it and then they can lie to you, you know, which Chrissy does all the time. Uh, and say, no, he doesn't know what he's talking about, he's crazy, he's blah, 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 whatever. Um, yeah, so what they can't refute, however, is physical evidence. So here is an F-Spec controller. There you go. Says it right there, F-Spec. Factory spec on the side, says it right there. Says it on that side, too. Uh, I have not seen inside this controller. This uh, came to me closed up like this. Uh, it's been in my possession. All of these have been in my possession about an hour and a half now. So have not done anything with it. Uh, here is the rather toasty logic board out of this controller. And as you can see, I'm sorry, no, this is an F, this is a uh, Rush logic board, not the F-Spec logic board. So it comes out of this one. Um, so yeah, uh, that's pretty toasty. Well, I'll talk about this in a second. So everything is still inside this one. Uh, it's got all the screws in it. My assumption is, is that this has never been opened because I don't actually know that it has been opened. Uh, this one right here is open right now. In fact, um, let me flip it over this way. Yeah, you can see it's got this massive scorched hole <laughs> in the plastic cover and you can see the screws are missing. You know, it's, it's pretty much open. I haven't opened it up more than that. Uh, I have seen photos of inside here, so I have a pretty good idea what's going to be in there. And um, this logic board used to sit right there inside. So all this burning on here happened right there. And so, you know, all of those, uh, as Chrissy calls them, uh, dry state capacitors. No, they're just called thin film, dude. <clears throat> all of those capacitors right there they clearly exploded. They caught on fire for some really insanely crazy reason. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and they all burnt themselves to a crisp and torched the side of the cover and did everything else here. Yeah, look at all the crap on my hands from all the soot on the board. And that's top and bottom. Yeah, check out that hole right there. So ignore this one and this one. So yeah, check out that hole right there. You're looking right through a scorched through hole in the board. That right there, that's a hole through the board. <laughs> yep, so here's the bottom side. Yeah, that's, I don't know, probably not going to ever work again. Just an opinion I have. Yeah, so this right here, see this right here? That is my pinky sticking through there. Yeah, I don't know. That F-Spec logic board, or sorry, that Rush logic board, probably never going to work again. Okay, so... That comes out of here. Uh, I've seen some photographs of this thing before these were ever sent to me. When the uh, guy sent me the pictures of this Rush controller, of which you can see, Rush F-Spec right there. If that's not an F-Spec, I don't know what, or a Rush controller, I don't know what it is. Looks just like mine, you know, just different anno. Or in fact, no wait, that is the same anno. Yeah, mine's gold too. Um, so yeah, looks just like mine. Just this one is completely and thoroughly torched. But, yep. Let's look inside there right now, because all the screws are out. Let's see what's inside there. Ooh, wow. Okay, so I don't know where this comes from. My assumption was that this logic board came out of there, but it's clearly got one in there. So maybe this comes out of that spec or something? I don't know. Now it's got all the connectors on it for a rush. So I don't know where that logic board comes from. But all I'm going to say is, damn. <laughs> yeah, uh, things kind of got a little hot over there, maybe. So yeah, we're gonna look at this just a little bit more. Um, first thing I wanna do with these things, uh, and I gotta tell you, I've seen photos of this before, uh, and, and that was why I assumed that this was the board in there. Um, but uh, yeah, I've seen photos of this one before, and I told the guy who had it, I went, you know what? Uh, I will pay for shipping for you to send that to me. 
And he goes, yeah, sure. It's just stinking up my house. Get it out of here. You can have it. So, yes. Thank you very much. We'll not say who that is because he does not want to deal with Kaomoto and all their BS. But as you can see, that is, well, non-functional. <laughs> not functional. Yeah, pretty much not functional like ever again. <clears throat> so, yeah, we're going to take this thing apart. We're going to look at it some more. You're definitely going to see more of that Rush controller. Let's put that lid back on again. Keep all of that crap inside there. All right, so that one has been opened up. You can see inside it. This one right here has not been opened up. And as you can see, that's also a Rush controller from Kaomoto. There it is, says Rush. It's got all the screws in it. I don't see any evidence of this thing being opened. Uh, I've never seen photos inside of this controller. So I'm going to say it's never been cracked open, probably. But we're going to take it apart and find out what blew up. Because I know that this one is dead as well. So, folks, uh, this is the thing that Kaomoto does not want you to see. They flat out do not. They want to hide from you the fact that their hardware is steaming pieces of crap waiting to explode. And here it is. I've got an F-Spec and two Rush controllers that are all torched. That are all dead. And you're going to sit, get to see these things on camera. I'm going to take them apart. And you're going to see board by board. I'm going to analyze it for you and show you why things fail. And I'm also going to show you uh, where things fail. So you already know where they fail because I've already told you. I've already told you about how bad their bridges are. I've already told you about how lossy their power sieges are. We're going to see that inside these controllers. You know, the Rush is a new design, right, from the F-Spec. Well, the F-Spec and the Pro are the same controller in every way other than, you know, some slightly different capacitors and a slightly higher phase amp current setting in firmware. That's it. So whatever we see in this F-Spec controller is the same modes of failure as will be in the Pro controller. And probably the same modes of failure is in the Nano. Never seen the part of stage in a Nano, but... I'm just going to hazard a guess that it's the same one that's in the Pro and the F-Spec, but I don't really know those facts. So, yeah, we're going to see all this stuff. We're going to take this stuff apart. I'm going to analyze it for you, show you everything there is to see in here. And, yeah, Chrissy, sorry, bud. The truth has to come out. Your lies are going to get exposed. You knew this from the moment you started blabbing them that, you know, you just can't lie to people forever and ever and expect to get away with it. It's going to come out, and I have been... Uh, refuting you <laughs> since December of last year and now we have the material evidence finally that was going to back up everything that I say about KO products so folks look forward to some videos yeah I can't wait to do this one I have been waiting for this hardware for a good little while